Hey everyone, Talon from the Airsoft Headquarters here, and welcome to an overview video where we go in depth with the Umarex Elite Force licensed Glock 19X gas blowback pistol. Now, a little bit of a disclaimer I went to the arena on Sunday, so yesterday of when this video was made, and I ran the new 19X um, with the green gas and CO2 pistols for the entire day. I do have some gameplay footage that I will roll into with this uh, in-depth review. So you guys will be able to see that first time as well as some of the different points and aspects of the pistol that I really enjoy and uh, what I think makes it really unique. Now, a little bit of a history as far as those of you who are unfamiliar with Glocks or are not Glock fans, please be open and understanding with the review here. Now, the 19X is going to be the newest pistol coming from Elite Force and BFC. It is also one of the most recent productions as far as the Real Steel Glock uh, company. Um, so this is one of the most cutting edge as far as Glock technology. And in my opinion, um, one of the most cutting as far as VFC airsoft technology. Um, the 19X is going to have some Gen 5 features. That doesn't particularly make it a Gen 5, uh, Glock Gen 5 pistol, but it's very similar aesthetically. Um, and I'll go over a couple of those as well. Currently right now on the market, we only have the 19X for a gas blowback green gas pistol. Um, as far as internally, it's set up mostly as green gas. I did run CO2 mags of the Elite Force Glock 17 CO2 mags through it yesterday. You'll be able to see that gameplay footage. And in my opinion, uh, the CO2 worked very well on it. It held up very well with the uh, extra recoil of the CO2. I had no issues using the lower pressure green gas or the higher pressure CO2. It ran phenomenally, had no issues with its performance. Um, there are a couple things that I will go over um, that may be a little bit of a downside for those of you who are looking at purchasing this. Um, so getting into the first part of the 19X, what really makes it unique is that um, this was actually one of the pistols that was brought to the U.S. Army when they were looking at replacing their standard issue pistol. So what's a little bit unique is that the 19X is a... 19 length slide while having a 17th uh, 17 length frame for the grip so that makes it a compact slide length um, for those of you that are looking for something a little bit shorter a little bit more maneuverable while still having a full length grip so those of you that have a little bit larger fingers are able to grab it without any issues um, the Gen 5 features that are going to be on here are going to be the iron sights. On traditional Glocks, they are going to be a what are described as a drop in the bucket. So you can see that the back is square. The very front is a dot. This is square and then the dot. With the 19X, they've actually changed that to be rear dots and a front dot iron sight system, which is a little bit more common with modern pistols, um, especially within the airsoft realm, most companies are using dots, if, um, as long as they're illuminated or painted on in some sort of fashion. So very good to see that changed. I know that was an issue with some people. Um, the very front of the slide, it is cut to be a little bit smoother. It doesn't have the same hard edge compared to a traditional Glock, and that is one of the Gen 5 features. Uh, the reason why um, a Gen 5 would have that, um, more than likely is going to be with um, using your offhand in order to manipulate that slide, in order to rack it back, or um, maneuver it in some sort of way, using that offhand up in front compared to most other people or players um, that are going to be using the rear serrations in order to grab onto and 
manipulate the slide like that. Um, so that is all personal preference as far as how you rack it, manipulate it, but it is there and that's why it is there. It also features ambidextrous slide release. So on the right hand and the left hand side of the grip, those are on there. Um, Glocks are traditionally known for being right hand dominant. With the 19X Gen 5, they have included that left hand um, accessibility. They do not have a left hand magazine release, but it's not too much of an issue. You just need to work, if you are left handed, you'll need to work on using your either middle or pointer finger in order to hit that magazine release which is fine since if you're dropping the magazine, you're not going to be manipulating that trigger. Just something so you guys are aware of. Um, also with the Gen 5 features, it has a lanyard loop on the bottom part of the grip here. Um, and that will hook onto your belt. So if it does fall out of your holster, you're not going to lose it somewhere on the battlefield. It'll drag on the ground behind you. They also include this little flare up in front of the magwell compared to other Glock platforms that do not have that flare. In my experience at the arena yesterday, um, transitioning magazines, even between the different um, generation of Glocks with the 17 CO2, I did not see that being an issue. It did not inhibit the magazine transition or loading a new mag in at all. But as far as maneuverability, it didn't impede that as well. So not sure why they put that there. Just you're aware it is there. It doesn't do anything really. Um, some of the great features about the 19X compared to other Glock platforms from Elite Force or VFC is the fact that the base plate is significantly easier to remove. Um, on other Glock platforms, I have had to get the edge of a table or some sort of hard surface in order to pull that base plate off and force it off. With the 19X, it just comes right off. If I hit the follower, um, follower here, then it will catch it. But as far as getting it on and off, it's really, really easy. So that is one of the great things that I enjoy about the 19X. All of my other pistols from Elite Force Glock, I've had to drill here just so I don't have to remove the base plate. But 19X, I don't have to do that. Um, one of the great things as well is that the 19X features an upgraded hop-up unit. If you look right here, you'll notice that there is a plate here that has some grooves. So all you're gonna do is just gonna pull it down on this a little bit, and then you're just gonna transition that over so you can get more hop, less hop um, compared to all the other Glocks on the market which have this little wheel right underneath the hop-up unit. This type of hop-up unit loses its zero very very easily compared to the 19X. I had no issue at all yesterday with that hop-up unit. It did not lose its zero at all. I did not have to adjust it after I already set it early in the morning. So very very glad that they have included that. Unfortunately, there is one downside to that system that I will touch on later. As well as the upgraded hop-up, they also featured a upgraded recoil spring system as well. If I pull this out for you, it all comes out as one piece, just like that. I'm gonna put that actually off on the side there. Same thing with the magazine the frame over there as well. Slide this forward just a little bit. So with the hop-up unit or with the recoil spring, excuse me, um, it has a dual spring system. That same spring system is going to be very similar with the CO2 Glock 17 as well as some of the other Glock pistols as well that are green gas. The Glock 19 green gas does feature a dual spring, but it is in two separate spaces instead of the springs that overlap each other with the 19X and the CO217. 
that dual spring system um, does help with recoil. Um, so you are able to maintain better sights on target um, without having to worry too much about the pistol kicking on you. It also does help with longevity of the recoil system as well as your slide entirely. Um, you'll notice on the 17 here, it is CO2 powered. I know I said that multiple times, but I'm going to make sure I always state that. I do have some chipping. This is my personal 17. So there is some chipping here with the slide release system. Now this is just natural wear and tear. It does not inhibit performance at all, um, but that is there. And that again, could be coming from a couple different reasons. Um, the one that I suspect is causing this issue is the fact that it is CO2. CO2 is going to kick higher because there is higher pressure behind the BB, just giving that extra kick. Um, and that is naturally going to wear the slide down as well as all of the internal parts. So having a robust recoil system is going to make sure that your pistol platform um, has a long life to it. And that's what the 19X has here, that same upgraded recoil uh, spring system. The next great thing about the 19X is the coating on the slide. Now I personally run a belt mounted MC Kydex um, Kydex holster that I have run all of my Glock style pistols in. You can possibly see on the 17 here there is a little bit of chipping wear and tear on the very front of the slide here and that just comes with the uh, pistol being drawn in and out of that excuse me that hard plastic and that's just naturally going to wear down the slide or the coating on the slide with the 19x as i'm drawing in and out of the holster i am not seeing any sort of marring or disturbance of that coating on the slide. It is still in very good condition. Um, I don't see any wear or tear where it naturally would appear like on the CO217 here. So the coating on this is still very, very good quality. Um, so that is a huge, huge plus, especially for those players that want to make sure that their pistol is looking in pristine condition. Um, one of the great features about Gen 5 pistols that is coming with the 19X is the fact that the grip itself is completely flat. With most other Glock pistols, the frame is going to feature some grooves for the fingers to sit inside of. With the 17, it is going to have some larger grooves here. With the 19, with the compact grip, those grooves are going to be much tighter. Um, for people that are not Glock fans, they are not fans of the Glock, specifically for those finger groove reasons. Me personally, it is a little uncomfortable to hold a 19. The 17 is more comfortable because I do have some more space for my fingers, but the 19X is the most comfortable because there are no grooves so I can put my fingers to wherever they are comfortable. Um, when shooting a real Glock, some of those finger grooves may wear down um, the skin of my fingers as I'm shooting it. Now granted, I'm not shooting a real Glock, but this has just been very comfortable for the entire length of the day. Um, so that is amazing to have on there and just one of the features that you guys should be aware of. Um, the triggers of Glocks between real steel and airsoft also are very short. If we were to look at the 19X specifically, since it's the one that I have in one piece, so rack the slide, no magazine, there's no BB down there, so just for you gun safety nuts. So that is with the trigger completely out and very, very short as far as the snap. If I go and set the slide back, I'm not sure if you heard the click, but right about there is where the 
reset is to engage the hammer. Very, very short. Again. Very, very short. And with the um, recoil system, it is very, very crisp, um, even more so than the CO217, in my experience, or in my opinion. So, crisp slide reset, very short trigger pull. It does allow for very quick fire down range, even from a pistol platform. Um, something that I did notice during the gameplay, referring to the short trigger pulls is it is very easy in order to get a snap shot. So even if I am on a low ready position, it is very easy and very comfortable in order to raise, pull the trigger and engage into a target very quickly, especially when there is very little of the target showing itself. So very accurate at very short amount of time in order to send a BB down range. So very, very easy in order to get those effective snapshots. And I will show some of those snapshot gameplays or um, game footage uh, later on in this video. All right, now we're going to get into the downsides of the 19X, which are not many. So still very, very good. Um, the only issues with the 19X by nature is that it is a gas blowback pistol, meaning it comes with a gas blowback magazine. Green gas by nature is going to have less uh, gas compression compared to a 12 gram CO2 canister. So you are not going to get as many shots compared to a CO2. I can get about a mega and a half, which is about 30 to 35 BBs off of one fully loaded um, mag of green gas, which is still really good. With the green gas, or excuse me, with the CO2 magazines, I'm getting about three to four magazines of BBs before I run out of CO2. Um, again, you run to the issue, it's a green gas pistol, you're not supposed to run CO2. However, with the um, recoil spring, as well as um, kind of just the durability of the blowback housing and the nozzle and not seeing any sort of issues, you can still comfortably run CO2, at least in my experience. I do have to clarify that. Um, so other than just not having enough gas, which it's the nature of the beast. That's just the one, uh, one of the downsides. The other downside is that with the 19X, recoil spring, barrel, and hop-up unit all being one piece, you don't have many issues or you don't have many options for upgradability or customization. So with the inner barrel and the hop-up unit, it is extremely similar to the Elite Force 1911, where you cannot remove your hop-up, you cannot remove the inner barrel, and that orange tip is just stuck on there. It does free rotate, but that means that there are no threads underneath here. So there's no option for an aftermarket barrel assembly yet. All right, guys, that is the end of the Elite Force Glock 19 review. Hopefully this was very informational and does help shed some light on any questions that you might have. Um, if you enjoyed the video, and you are looking forward to getting the Glock 19X, go ahead and leave a like on this video or wherever. If you're not a Glock fan, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below as far as what you prefer to run. I'm very interested to see what other people prefer aside from the Glock. Um, otherwise, have a good rest of your day and enjoy the gameplay footage.